Hey, good afternoon. Um, got another short video today, a song and a couple thoughts from scripture today for you. And I'm calling this today a faith boost. And uh, kind of the question, do you need a faith boost is what I got in mind. And uh, just the other day, I, um, I'm starting, you know, in back into the New Testament. I've been reading Old Testament for a little while. And boy, it's refreshing to get back in the New Testament. And I'm in Matthew chapter 8 and 9. And uh, I want to recommend to you, to, for you to read Matthew 8 and chapter 9. Both those chapters. Just take a quick reading of it. And uh, I found a tremendous faith boost in my own life just by reading those words. They were so powerful. Uh, and I want to sing a song today uh, about something that happened uh, during that, that, those two chapters. Uh, we're, we're viewing Jesus in these two chapters in his public ministry. And uh, there was a leper healed, uh, incurable disease, a leper healed. Uh, next, there was a servant with some kind of palsy that he healed. Sounds like a serious disease as well. He comes across a centurion, a Roman centurion, who had great, great faith. You know, hey, Lord, I'm not worthy that you come, come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. And What a wonderful faith that guy had. Um, Peter's mother-in-law was healed uh, by Jesus. And then many more sick were healed. And uh, even demonically oppressed people were healed. Um, Jesus could deal with that more healings and severe afflictions. This is all happening in Matthew 8 and 9 as you read one, one scene after another. Uh, then he comes and calls a, an unlikely disciple by the name of Matthew who was a tax collector. You know, God, God can use some really unlikely candidates um, who want to follow Jesus. Uh, next, he was eating with sinners, quote unquote, and um, he was rebuked for that by the religious folks of the day and Jesus said hey you know the well people don't need a physician the sick ones do and he had compassion on people still does uh, and then he healed a woman with a 12 year issue of blood this is all one after another all of these events are listed uh, then he raised a young girl from the dead and two blind men were healed and uh, quote unquote a dumb man, a man who who couldn't speak, who he just was you know like unable to speak, and he got healed. Uh, then it comes out and it says that he went all about that region and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. And I love how it says he was moved. You know he was moved with compassion. He saw the people as like sheep without a shepherd, and uh, and then he, you know, he ends with calling. Uh, calling out saying, you know, the harvest is great, the labors are few. And, uh, but in the middle of uh, all of those events, he had gotten into a ship, a little boat on the Sea of Galilee there. And uh, I want to read this in Matthew 8, 23. It says, When he had entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him and saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are you so fearful, O ye of little faith? And then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And I was thinking about the winds and the waves that are blowing today. You know, we have the winds of war. In Eastern Europe and um, sometimes I follow that a little bit too closely and I find that my faith gets you know sort of depressed a little bit in that when I soak up too much of the winds of war uh, there is the economic winds um, we're all paying through the nose right now for fuel for our cars uh, there's the winds of uh, uh, again the economy you go to the grocery store and things that used to cost so much now costs double, and and uh, you know on and on it goes. So political winds blowing all over the world, uh, lots of turmoil everywhere. Uh, you may be facing the winds of sickness as well in your own personal life or somebody you know. Um, you know 
I've run into a lot of people who've had some really, really serious health issues too. So lots of winds, lots of waves blowing, but Jesus can still calm winds and waves. So if you need a faith boost, read uh, Matthew chapter 8 and chapter 9. Just read it. Just take a fresh look at Jesus and see if your faith just doesn't rise. And uh, got a little song. I've done it before in one of these videos. It's one of my favorites. Uh, but it's about how Jesus can keep things calm in here, you know, when, when the wind and the waves are blowing. Sometimes I let this old world have its way with me. There is no escape, far as I can see Captured by the wind, I break so helplessly I know if not for you, there'd be no hope for me You are the calm at the center of my storm When the cold winds blow you're the fire that keeps me warm when this old world gets me down I'll rest inside your arms you are the calm at the center of my storm if I could only learn to always talk to you Instead of thinking, I always know what to do. Why does it take the darkness for my eyes to see? There's never been a time when you weren't there for me. You are the calm at the center of my storm. When the cold winds blow, you're the fire that keeps me warm. When this old world gets me down, I'll rest inside your arms. You are the calm at the center of my storm. When this old world gets me down, I'll rest inside your arms. You are the calm at the center of my storm. The calm at the center of my storm. Amen. I hope near you you maybe have a place where you can walk, you know, it's going to be nice weather outside for walking, but when you need a calm uh, for the storms that you get into, I highly recommend you take a walk out there. A friend of mine lives near some railroad tracks. Boy, I would be using those side of those railroad tracks for some walks because you can be all alone with just you and Jesus. And the Bible says in Psalm 62, verse 8, it says, Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. So watch Jesus calm the wind and the waves in your soul, no matter what kind of stuff you're involved with that's disturbing you these days. And your faith will be boosted by reading Matthew 8 and 9. Just watch what Jesus does. Man, he is powerful. Love you guys. I hope you have a good weekend. Hope to see you again soon on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.